Fourth of July has always been a very special holiday for the soldiers of Fort Mackinac, whose military ancestors fought and died to make this country free. In the 1880s, the Commandant of Fort Mackinac suspended normal garrison duties and gave the soldiers the day off to enjoy sports activities, like baseball games against neighboring towns and social activities, including picnics and concerts. But before the festivities began, the soldiers started the day with the ceremonial firing of the National Salute, 38 rounds fired in honor of the country's 38 states. Today, we would like to recreate the National Salute of the 1880s, as each shot is fired, I will announce the name of the states in the order that they join the Union. But first, we would like to begin with the ceremonial raising of the 1880s flag, which bears the 38 stars representing the states of the Union. The flag we'll be raising is an exact replica of the garrison flag, 20 feet high by 36 feet long. That was hoisted over Fort Mackinac when soldiers celebrated the 4th of July over 114 years ago. Before we begin, however, we ask for all those who have served or are currently serving in the armed forces to join us out here on the parade ground. As we raise the flag, our bugler will play to the colors, after which our bugler will play the national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. And we ask all of you to join us in singing the national anthem. so much for your service. Uh, you may return to your seats. Again, thank you all so much. At this time, we will be firing off the 38-gun national salute. This will be loud. I would recommend covering your ears.
Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for joining us today. Our next demonstration will be at 3.30, which will be a court martial out here on the parade ground. You're already in the best seats to view that. We hope to see you there, but if not, thank you so much for coming out to celebrate with us today.